Do a flu spillage test, which is where I light a match and put it, say, 5mm above the canopy edge. And what this checks is the products of combustion are drawing up the chimney. So basically it's putting colour to the flame. As you can see, you've got the correct tool for this. This tool is ideal because it directs the smoke from the match. Rather than sending the smoke down or in all types of direction and giving some discrepancy to the result and the performance, this is ideal. It sends it straight up. So here we go. So you can see that's pulling, even when I'm pulling it all the way down the, the fire, it's aiming correctly. I'm very satisfied with that. It's not coming up the canopy in the wrong area. It's not leaking from the edges, look. That's splendid. So that match I'm just going to put there. There's no such stains either around the edge. These inset fires are sealed back to the wall using double-sided sticky tape. Uh, obviously fire resistant. Okay, so now I'm going to turn the actual appliance off. I'm going to put a smoke bomb pellet, light it and put it in this brass container actually on the coals. I always do this because it prevents getting damage or staining on the coals. And then I'll go outside, I'll check the chimney, check the flames, the, sorry, the, the smoke's coming out the chimney terminal, it's not coming out the chimney pot around the base, it's not coming around the, around the flaunching of the cement, it's not coming around the brickwork or the tiles. And also, whenever you put a smoke bomb or pellet up, always go in the room above the appliance, a bedroom, etc. Check they haven't put a vent in the chimney. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.